I remember it like it was yesterday. And my mom is, she's outside the, outside the door and I can see on her face, she's crying. And, and when I saw that, I knew, I knew my dad was dead. I knew he had died. And we all just, I mean, it was tough, man. You know, you didn't expect them. It seemed like it was, it was just, it was sudden. It didn't seem like we had a warning. Yeah, to put it in perspective, your father passed away with lupus at the age of 41. Yeah, that was the hardest, that was the hardest day of my life, man. That was tough. You kind of said this early. Football was a way to prove to your dad yeah. your worth, your toughness, your dedication, whatever word you want to put in there. And once he was gone, yeah. did you no longer have that specific motivation to impress him? Is that why you quit? It just felt like, okay, I no longer have to prove to my dad that I'm tough. And then it just, you know, school wasn't important anymore. Uh, sports wasn't important anymore. Nothing was important when my dad passed away. And uh, I just kind of, I fell into a little hole. Started doing stuff like hanging out with my friends and you know, my mom was working two jobs at the time. So she wasn't around a whole lot. And uh, I just started hanging out with my buddies and going to parties at 12 years old and going to neighborhoods that I shouldn't, have, shouldn't be going to. And this one night we go out and uh, there's a party across town. It's two, I think it's two or three in the morning. I happen to turn my head to the left and I see someone walking towards me. And as I look closer, he's got a double barrel shotgun pointed at my, my face. And he's walking towards me, he's got the gun right here. And, and I'm like, whoa. So I put my hands up and I'm trying to deflect the barrel because it's pretty close, it's almost touching my face. And as I'm backing up, he still has the gun, I'm hitting the, the barrel and he's rolling the barrel back over. And at this moment, I think that he's about to pull the trigger. But fortunately, one of the guys um, recognized me, but he knew me, he knew my brother, right? And he knew my brother, Bobby. So he says, hey, you know, he says, he's cool. He's, he's cool. He says, um, you know, I know his brother. And so then the guy just puts the shotgun down and he, and he walks off. That night, I laid in my bed and I just thought about that. I replayed that, that moment over and over and I just kept replaying it. I couldn't get out of my head. And I thought back to what my dad said when he shot those bullets. He says, your life is only worth six cents and it's easy for your life to be taken. And it just made sense to me, like, this is what he's talking about. And you can't continue to put yourself in a position to where you're, you're in harm's way. And um, that was it, that was a straw. After that day, I, I just mentally said, I'm done. I am going to, uh, I gotta change my, I gotta change my, my behavior. And 